Hey Android fans, this is Eric with HollywoodPhoto.com's Android App Reviews. Today I'm going to talk to you about Widgetsoid. Um, Widgetsoid, like it sounds, is a widget based app, um, but the reason why I uh, have it and how I found it a long time ago is because there was something very specific I wanted to be able to do and I couldn't find any other way to do it. And this app has uh, been awesome. Um, I've had it on my phone for, I don't know, probably almost a year now. Uh, and it's one of those things that I get use out of every single day. So uh, let me show you what it is, what it does, how it works, and why you should get it as well. So here you see my home screen. Uh, now let me put down my notification bar. And this is courtesy of Widgetsoid. Uh, basically what it does is it allows you to put uh, toggles or indicators um, into a, a widget uh, that you can then put into your notification bar. Now you can use this on your home screen. Uh, you can use it for a uh, just to put a widget on your home screen to have switchers and toggles and indicators. Uh, but there are, there are other apps that will allow you to do that on your home screen. Um, although I don't know if any of them are, have as many options as Widgetsoid has, but for the major things you'd want to do, uh, there are other apps that would allow you to do that. However, this was the first app that I found that allowed me to add this to my notification bar like I have it here, which is great because wherever you are, whatever app you are inside of, you can always put on your notification bar and there's your toggles right there. And of course I put things in there that I would need to toggle quickly and frequently such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, turning my phone on to vibrate or silent. Um, or uh, adjusting the volume and uh, that I like because it just immediately opens the entire volume to uh, settings so that you can change any of the settings. Or you can also put an application. That's an application icon right there and if I hit that, that opens uh, Evan, which is a uh, voice control, sort of like Siri, but way, way better. Anyway, I'll be reviewing that in a, another review later on. But that's what Widgetsoid does. So uh, let me take you into the app and uh, show it to you. Um, basically, if you press, once you've installed it, you press anywhere, you go to widgets, just like any other widget. And once the screen comes up, widgets widgets on the bottom because it starts with a W. And there you go. Uh, there is a clock that you can have, and then you can set your own background for the clock. There is uh, there are indicators. Um, I know the one indicator is a. Uh, Battery is a battery level indicator. I'm not sure what else, what other indicators there are. Um, let's take a look at that and just see. Wi-Fi indicator. Uh, let's see. Wi-Fi network. Battery. So you can have battery, and then you can choose your background level. Um, you know, these are very very basic. Of course, there are a ton of other battery widget indicators that you can get in the market. Um, this probably isn't the best for that, but it's something you might want to use it for. Now let's go into the widgets again. And let me show you how you can create a really awesome switcher like I have. Um, you can pick any size uh, one by one. The mixed allows you to have the indi an indicator like the battery and then also have uh, switchers beside it. Um, but let's do it one by four switcher. This is a it's telling me this is a vertical switcher. Make sure you have enough space. Um, and I probably don't because 
because I want a horizontal switcher. Let's go back. So as you say, you can make them vertical or horizontal. I want horizontal. There we go. That's going to be a horizontal switcher. So it'll go across, which is what you'd want to do if you're going to put it in your notification. So basically, you've got all these different things you can choose from. Uh, as you can see, tether USB, airplane mode, you can have that. 4G, which it says is experimental. I don't have a 4G phone yet, unfortunately, so I can't experiment with that. Um, Wi-Fi, portable Wi-Fi spot. Now, if you check Wi-Fi and then you hit that little settings button, then you can choose. You could have it so that when it's connected to Wi-Fi, show the uh, AP name on the bar. So that's kind of cool. Uh, show the level. Let's see. Let's have it show the AP name just for fun. Uh, then you have screen settings, screen timeout, lock screen, lock pattern, auto lock, orientation, the brightness, um, always on. If you click that, then it's going to stay on, stay awake. And you have sound. You can select your ring mode, which will toggle between vibrate and silent. Or you can just have enable, disable, vibrate, enable, disable, silent, enable, disable speaker, volume control which I have uh, on, on mine media scanner which uh, tells your phone to scan your card for new media and you can even put previous play pause and next buttons um, those are experimental and probably will work with a stock player may or may not really may or may not with any uh, third party player but they might so you could try that if that's something that you wanted to have and then you get to other. GPS, battery. Now here's things that some of the other ones don't have. Temperature of the battery, CPU usage, CPU frequency, phone memory, RAM memory, if that's something that you're needing to uh, uh, check a lot. Flashlight. And that allows you to use your uh, LED as a flashlight. There's a lot of apps that do that. But here you can just put it on your indicator, on your notification bar so that it's always there and have access to it. Reboot. That obviously is something that will only work if you have uh, a rooted phone. Um, so then there's those then shortcuts. Shortcuts are great because now you can add an application. You saw I had an application in mind. You can add a contact. So uh, direct dial or direct uh, uh, text. You can have a bookmark to a specific website, or if you have Tasker installed, you can have a Tasker task. So you could put a shortcut to any Tasker task um, that you have uh, in Tasker. So let me, I probably didn't add enough. Let me add some more things. I was so excited about showing them, showing them to you that I didn't. There we go. So we're going to make it very media friendly. So, after you're through adding stuff, then you get to themes. And this is where you can decide you want the corners to be rounded or square. Do you want separation? See, now it's just one solid bar. Separation adds like this little line, which I think looks good. Um, icon always highlight. That means the icon will stay like it is now. If you don't have that checked, then when, uh, like for example, when Wi-Fi is off, the icon would go gray. Um, you can hide the icon so that you can't see them at all. Uh, I don't really know why you would want that. I guess if you want secret stuff up there. Um, this is to show the label underneath the icon. Uh, the color of the label. If you want the label there, you can choose your color. The background. Now this is kind of cool. You can pick a custom image. So if I pick a custom image and then I go to my gallery, see what kind of crazy pictures I have in my gallery. Who knows what you will find. Um, here we go. This has a lot of my Georgia Bulldog and Spider-Man stuff. Let's choose the Spider-Man picture. So now look, that Spider-Man picture is the background for my uh, widget. So that's kind of cool that it lets you do that. And then you can choose the alpha level, so if you don't want it, to be so bold, you can you know lower it a little bit. There you go. Uh, now the indicator type. Right now I have long. That's the bar along the bottom. You can have short, which is like a little dot, 
or you can have circle. Circle and dot are almost the same. Circle's like a round circle. I don't know if you can tell this in the video, but short is, I don't know, kind of like a, a bullet is what it looks like. But anyway, the ones that look the coolest are the long, so you can, you can make it whatever you want, but if you want to be cool, you'll make them long. Uh, choose the bottom color. You can pick any color you want. If you want to do ice cream sandwich blue, you got it. Um, icon theme. Default icons. You can choose alternative icons for things. And you can also download... Uh, this app is free in the market, or you can donate, which I recommend you do because it's so cool. But you can also pay to download uh, additional icons as well. And then you can choose the icon color. So you can do white, black, or you can choose a custom color. Um, let's go blue because it kind of fits with the whole Spider-Man thing. Mm, you can't see them that well, but they're there. Um, add color filter. What that does is if you had an app on here or a direct call on here and you add the color filter, then that would uh, change it from a picture or the picture of the application. It would kind of make it that color. Actually, let's uh, just for fun, let's, let's do this and Put one on there just so you can see what it does because it is kind of a cool feature if you want it to be uh, want everything to be uniform and have a cool uniform look to it of course like any or many third-party apps it takes a little time to load everything up um, well since I have the all the play buttons on there it's kind of a theme. See if I can find one of my music apps. I don't even use the radio, but let's put that on there just for fun. So there's the radio icon. You can see it right there. If I add the custom color filter, you can see how it kind of puts that same blue that these icons are over it so that it's now blue. With that particular icon, it doesn't work so well because you can't really tell what it is that well. But if it's a larger icon or a picture of a person or something, it, it can work pretty good. Um, then you go to Advanced. Modifiable. If you check that, there will be a little tiny, set, almost transparent, semi-transparent settings button up here. And if, that way, if you click that uh, after you have this on your home screen, it will open up this so that you can change it. Default state. Uh, so this is where you want it to be the default state to be on for shortcuts. I have the default state is on. Um, notification. This is where you click if you want this to show up in your notification bar. I'm not going to do that because I already have one in my notification bar but this is what you would do. And then widget invisible. This is if you create this and you click notification to put it in your notification bar, you then click widget invisible so that it doesn't show up on your home screen. If you click notification but you don't click widget invisible, then it'll show up in both places. You'll have the widget on your home screen and you'll have the widget in your notification bar. So uh, by clicking notification and clicking widget invisible, that's what puts it in your notification bar. And then you can give it a name uh, so that you can easily get back uh, to it. Now you can see right here, this is it. That blue color doesn't show up the best for the icons, but uh, it's it's there. And if you, uh, if I were to play, well I don't have anything to play, I don't have uh, any music on my phone right now, but uh, that's play button and the next and you can see the the Wi-Fi the little bar underneath indicates that it is on um, or ready for use and if I click it see the bar goes off click it again and it will come back on once the Wi-Fi is back on but like I said really why I got this was not for this but for this because that's having that in your notification bar anytime you want it is uh, awesome. 
So it's called Widget Soid. Uh, make sure you get Widget Soid 2. Uh, there is Widget Soid 1, which is for old, old Android. Um, if you still have one of those ancient devices. But Widget Soid 2 is for uh, Froyo and Beyond, uh, which is what I have because I'm a gingerbread. So that is Widget Soid, uh, available in the Android market. I will put a link uh, not only to the market but also to the website because the developer has a website uh, dedicated to Widget Soid and uh, might help you out with some tips if you're trying to figure out how to do something. Um, I highly recommend it, if for nothing else, for the notifications. Um, the quick settings tab that is on a lot of phones now with the notification drop is beyond me to understand why they put that on there as opposed to doing what Widget Soy does. Um, yeah, it kills me when these companies, someone makes an app that does something brilliantly and companies instead of just ad adopting or adapting that uh, uh, way of doing it, they try to come up with some different way that is not as effective. And the quick sitting tabs being at the bottom of your phone after you have to use the top of your phone to, to pull down the notification bar is uh, it's a pain. So, even though I have quick settings uh, after the last update, I don't use it because I have Widget Soy. And Widget Soy is just better. So go ahead and get it. Uh, again, it's Eric with HollywoodFrodo.com. You can find all my videos on that website. Or, of course, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button. If you don't like it, then don't do anything. Just move on, okay? Anyway, uh, until next time, uh, have a great day.